Sub 250 just fixed a huge flaw with the Nimble 65. The Nimble 65 has 35 millimeter props and weighs in around 28 grams, making it one of the smallest and lightest tiny whoops you can buy with the DJI 04 on board. You can also get the Nimble 65 in analog, which is gonna be a little bit lighter and have a little bit longer flight times. We do pay a penalty for that DJI 04 system in terms of cost and weight, but having a crystal clear FPV feed and the ability to record in 4K60 is a pretty big deal and a lot of pilots are gonna be willing to make those trade-offs. Before we jump into the review, there is a huge elephant in the room that we have to talk about. The first batch of these Nimble 65s were rushed to market as soon as the DJI 04 launched and they didn't have a BEC or battery eliminator circuit to power that DJI 04 system. And since this is a 1S tiny whoop, what that means is at the end of your flight or anytime you would punch the throttle and those 1S batteries would sag, there was a danger of the DJI 04 browning out and you would just lose connection and the quad would crash. Fortunately, Sub 250 just released a 1S BEC, which is rated down to 2.7 volts. And what that means is your DJI 04 will operate reliably all the way down to the end of your flight, even during punch outs, which is how it should have been released in the first place. And there's really no excuse for Sub 250 to have launched this quad without a reliable power system for the DJI 04. If you buy this quad today, it does come with that BEC installed. If you got one of the Nimble 65s from the first batch, you can add that BEC to your quad. It costs $7 and it weighs less than half a gram. All right, with that critical point out of the way, let's get on with the review. The drone comes to you in this cool little display box. I really like Sub 250's packaging. You can tell they put a little extra effort into that unboxing experience. Here's what the Nimble 65 looks like before I've had a chance to crash it and get it all dirty. We do have a QA sticker, a lightweight whip antenna, and a very long battery lead with an A30 connector. In this box, we have all the original accessories that came with the DJI 04. We get a parts bag with some extra screws, a screwdriver, two prop remover tools, an Allen key, and of course a sheet of stickers. We also get an extra set of HQ props, which are 1.2 by 0.9 by 3. I did get a few 300 milliamp batteries. I also got an extra frame and an extra canopy. That extra frame is very handy. I'll show you why in just a minute. I wanna start by showing you how small this drone really is. Here's the Nimble 65 compared to the Meteor 75 Pro that I just reviewed on the channel. They're both 1S whoops, but the Nimble 65 is tiny, which makes it great for flying indoors or around people because it's so small and quiet that people just think of it as a toy. The all-in-one board is the Red Fox A1. It does now have that BEC to power the DJI 04 reliably all the way down to the end of your flight. It has a built-in ELRS receiver, which is an SPI receiver, not a UART-based receiver. To bind mine, I just put in my binding phrase with a CLI command using a handy tool that's available on the ELRS website. I'll put a link to that page in the video notes because it does make binding quick and painless. The all-in-one board does have a micro USB port. USB-C would be better, but at least we have a proper USB port so we don't have to fiddle around with dongles. The props are HQ 31 millimeter tri-bladed props. For motors, we've got these Sub 250 branded 0702 27,000 kV motors. The frame is super lightweight and it only weighs about two and a half grams. It is flexible to absorb impacts and mine broke in a crash can show you right there, but fortunately replacements are just $4. The canopy is pretty durable and it seems like it'll absorb some impacts. Unfortunately, there is no soft mounting at all, which means Rocksteady really won't produce usable results. The DJI 04 camera is held in place with these plastic nubs, but it's not really locked in place and my camera angle would change anytime I crashed. The recommended batteries are these Sub 250 300 milliamp 1S packs, and they do have A30 connectors. If you're wondering, A30 connectors are compatible with the BT 2.0 connectors. Your flight times on this drone are gonna be very short, so I highly recommend picking up a pack of these batteries and a multi-channel charger so you're not constantly waiting on batteries to charge. 
These batteries fit into the tray very tightly and you have to be careful when you insert them so you don't put too much pressure on the other components because the frame is so soft that it yields as you force the batteries into the tray. I found it helped to remove the stickers from the batteries, then they would go in and out a little easier. My GMB 300 milliamp batteries also fit this battery tray, so I assume any of the stick style 300 milliamp batteries will work. With the DJI 04, the Nimble 65 weighs in at 28 grams, and with a 300 milliamp 1S battery, it weighs 36.3 grams. My first impression flying this drone was it is nimble. Don't let its small size fool you. It's super zippy and maneuverable. And that small size means you can hit tighter gaps and small spaces just feel bigger because you have so much more maneuverability. I did notice the extra weight of the DJI 04 and even though 28 grams sounds super light, it is a lot for those tiny 31 millimeter props. Where I really noticed that extra weight was in throttle control. A lighter 65 millimeter whoop or a similar weight on larger props feels a little bit more floaty and just doesn't drop so fast when you let off the throttle. But this little drone has so much more inertia that when I descend quickly, it drops faster than I would expect it to, especially towards the end of the flight when those 300 milliamp batteries have lost some of their pep. It just didn't feel like I had as much throttle resolution as I'm used to, almost like the throttle was an on-off switch, and I found it more difficult to maintain a stable altitude with this much weight on 31 millimeter props. This really is an indoor drone, it's just too small to do much of anything outdoors. The Nimble 65 really pushes the limits of how small a drone can be and still fly well with a DJI 04, because even eight grams is a lot for a tiny whoop. The analog version of the Nimble 65 is 21 grams. So with this DJI 04, we are making trade-offs in terms of how well the drone flies and how long it flies. But the benefits of that DJI 04 system are huge and a lot of people are gonna be willing to make those trade-offs. All right, you guys, now it's time for my conclusions. What I love about this 65 millimeter HD Tiny Whoop is that it's great for flying indoors or in small spaces. You've got that crystal clear FPV feed. It's super quiet, which means people aren't going to complain or even notice that you're flying. And it is super peppy and responsive and serious whoop pilots will be able to rip this thing. But there are a few things that you need to be aware of. First of all, flight times are very short. That's true of any 65 millimeter whoop, but the extra weight of the DJI 04 really does limit your flight times and you will notice it if you're used to flying lighter weight analog whoops. Also, this smaller form factor is super zippy, but it could be harder for a beginner to control. I think something with larger props would actually be easier for a new pilot to learn on. There is no soft mounting solution for your DJI 04 camera, which means you can't really count on rock steady or in-camera stabilization in your DVR footage. If you want a super capable and a super tiny little ripper to fly around your house with all the benefits of that state-of-the-art DJI 04 system on board, this updated version of the Nimble 65 is a great option. All right, you guys, that'll do it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.